Okay, so walk around this uh, e-registration, so either 1987 or 1988, uh, Land Rover 90, 2.5 turbo diesel, finished in uh, seven-seater spec, this one, uh, and actually really a quite nice spec all round. Um, just going around it, it's got a matching set of four um, big tyres on chrome eight-spoke rims. Uh, it's fair to say some of the, the uh, chrome has seen better days on the rims, but it still looks quite smart, and they're sort of nice big chunky tyres as well. <coughs> it's got front A-bar with um, some extra spots. I don't know if they're wide enough. They look as if they are, but I haven't checked to see if they work. Um, it's got a bonnet mount for the um, for the spare wheel, although currently the uh, the spare wheel is mounted on the roof rack, uh, and it's got a full length galvanised roof rack with rear ladder. Um, it's got Alpine lights, opening side windows. Um, inside it, it's a full seven seater spec, all cloth trim, including rear seat belts, and also including a, um, a three point um, lap and diagonal centre seat belt, which is most unusual actually. Uh, what else have we got walking around it? It's got adjustable tow hitch. The, um, the hitch is actually inside the vehicle. Uh, they've just taken it off for the time being, but it's uh, sitting there in the, um, in the load area. As I say, four individual rear seats with seat belts. And that's really about it, I think. Anyway, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Has had a colour change. Originally it was blue, I think, but um, at some point in the past it's been... Uh, uh, refinished in red. I think possibly about 10 years ago it was had a colour change to red. Um, and at some point in the slightly um, later history it seems to have had um, replacement doors. Both doors and the tailgate as well have been replaced so they're all very very new. Um, so there's a very very slight, you may be able to see it on the video, a very slight colour variation between the doors and the rest of it but um, not a great deal it's fair to say and uh, in fairness it's better to have um, uh, nice, uh, nice rust free doors really more than anything else. Anyway so from the front of it, there is some paint loss and, uh, and stuff, especially on the, the light grill units. There's a few areas of, you know, the, it's been, they've been painted red, whereas originally they'd have been black um, around there and underneath the light units as well um, on both sides. The paint on the bonnet and the wings is a bit milky here and there. As red always quite often tends to go. You might find with a decent polish it may get a bit, uh, a bit better, but it is sort of, you know, does feel rather look slightly milky in places uh, along the top of it. Um, up here there's some electrolytic reaction on the top of the near side front wing here. But yes, the paint is quite milky along the bonnet side there, but it is, you know, solid red. That's what you get really, I'm afraid. Um, down the near side, it all looks pretty straight and clean and correct. There is a bit of electrolytic reaction under the paint on the front of the near side front wing uh, and quite a lot of crazing on the near side um, wheel arch eyebrow, as always when they're painted. Um, and a fair bit of electrolytic reaction and paint loss on the back of the near side front wing. Looking up here on the scuttle corner, all looks pretty good actually, it looks pretty nice and original. Just starting to bubble up in one or two places underneath the paint, but um, still feels really nice and solid and, uh, and good there. Possibly had a, I think it might have had the repair panel let in there at some point. Um, a post is all good. Passenger door is spot on, there's no reaction or anything on it really. Really very nice. There is quite a lot of reaction, however, on the base, on the um, near side modesty cover and, and paint loss, and a bit of blue paint showing through here and there. Um, inside here, as I say, interior wise, it's very nice. I know the, um, the kick panel on the passenger side there, I can't bend down, I've got a very bad back at the minute, but the, the, the uh, tow board, shall we say, on the passenger side is a bit holy and ragged, but um, seems to have been like that for a long time, according to the last owner, and doesn't seem to have got any worse. For a considerable amount of time. Um, this near side door, it's a later door by the feel of it, it's got the rubber strip on the bottom, is in first class order. Really, really nice. I don't know if it's a new old stock one or what, but that's um, that's about as good as you'll ever find. Um, near side rear wing is all spot on. We've got um, uh, up here, that's all nice up there around the van side. A couple of small holes in the tub top trim here, a couple of small rust holes, a little bit of paint showing through there, a little bit of paint showing through on the back of the tub up there as well. Uh, but near side rear wing, apart from a lot of electrolytic reaction down the, um, down the near side here, is actually really pretty good. <coughs> um, the, around the tail end here, there's a bit of quite a lot of paint loss and stuff up around the rear lights and the tub top trim just around this bit here has um, has rusted away just there 
Uh, but tailgate, once again, I think the tailgate is, again, very, very new. Hasn't got an inner door card on it, but the tailgate is absolutely perfect. Really first class. And in here, it's really nice as well. So you've got rear seat belts. It's all been carpeted. It's very good. Um, just, just nice all round. Um, offside rear wing and corner. Again, a bit of paint loss and electrolytic reaction around the light units and stuff. Um, all down there, but that's not too bad. Looking down the offside, pretty straight and clean by Land Rover standards. That all looks good. Um, offside rear wing here, fair bit, fair bit of electrolytic reaction on the offside rear corner, but otherwise not bad at all. Some reaction under the paint just there under the filler, um, and a bit up here on the van side, but otherwise pretty good. Offside door, we'll come back to that in a minute. I suspect that's the same as the other ones. Um, Offside A post is good, offside modesty cover is good, but some paint showing through. Um, offside front wing, it's quite a big scuff on the eyebrow here, but otherwise the offside front wing is all good. Offside scuttle corner, again just slightly bubbling here and there, but all looks pretty good and strong and nice up there. Um, and yes, this offside front door is again a later type one with the rubbing strip on the bottom that's in first class order. It's really nice. Um, that's it basically. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard debit cards and credit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can uh, have it shipped anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. And, oh, it's got a sunroof as well. And,